Hey everyone, so um, I wanted to go back to kind of playing around with this for our kind of second demo. I know you guys have watched a lot of demos so far, um, but now that I've had a chance to look at this, like I want to mix it up. Like, you know, you get to the point where you're like, ah, I kind of like that, but I, I want to change it up. So I want this to like be maybe a little bit bigger and maybe to have kind of a back and forth what's what's happening here um, and then I'm going to do the same thing here but I'm not going to enlarge it I'm just going to keep it the way it is so I kind of like the way what this what's happening you have the descender you have the up, ascender you have the descender you have the ascender the other thing that I could do to actually have fun with this is I can actually distort this text so I'm going to click on that text and I don't know if you can see type, but I'm going to click type down to create outlines. What that does is that is no longer letter form. So that's something that I can now edit. So I can grab these guys and actually drop it down to the same distance here as it is there. Um, so it'll even create kind of more um, back and forth. So that, you know, is kind of fun. And I am enjoying kind of the way that this is working a little bit more. And I can do the same thing here. I'm going to do create outlines. And then I'm going to actually grab this. And I'm going to take those two points all the way over so that that's kind of more ex extended. Um, and it kind of ha has the same ending as this point and this Y. Um, I'm not really enjoying how this text is working, so we're going to kind of pull it aside and kind of blow it apart. Um, and this is a lot about the way design functions. You know, you do something, you see if you're feeling it. If you're not feeling it, then pull it apart and try something else. So now this line is not necessarily where I want it. I'm going to take that aside. Um, and partially, like, I'm feeling like this because, unlike you, I didn't do sketches. So that's one of the reasons why sketches are so important. I'm going to actually decrease my type to a 9, which is a normal body copy, and see if I can't actually... Um, uh, get it all to fit in one nice line here. So let's just click here and extend this. Ooh, it's very close. And guess what? If I open it up a little bit, it's definitely going to fit right there. Um, so there's that. Um, there's also that I could have this flop over here um, and bring it down here and then give myself a narrower column because I kind of liked it narrower so that it comes back down into it and almost kind of creates this very almost ex explanation point, exclamation point. Ugh, I can't talk today. So I'm going to do that actually. Um, so I'm going to widen this up. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to get rid of this. We don't need that anymore. Oops. All right, let's see. Oh, now we've broken that link. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to come underneath this, and I am going to create kind of a column underneath it. And I'm going to make it semi-transparent, which we've already played with.
and very subtly kind of make the idea of an exclamation point. I'm going to outline my type. Actually, move it back here. Make it a little bit thinner. Make my exclamation point wide at the top and narrow at the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing with my text box. Watch this. So to make this text reactive, I can click on that point and I can bring it into the same shape as that box, which means that we're going to have to go back because it changed a little bit down here. I'm a little bit off on this upper one. So I'm going to outline this type so I don't have to worry about it um, moving around because sometimes when we move type around it, it tries to be reactive. And then I'm going to grab that and I'm going to grab my text. And then I'm going to rotate them. You know what? I'm going to rotate them this way. Oops. Don't stretch it. I'm going to rotate it this way. So I have plenty of room this way to make an exclamation point. And then for my exclamation point, I'm going to make a big period and drop it down there. Now, you know, I said no images. I don't consider these images. Um, and that's going to drop down and kind of make my exclamation point. Now, I can actually do some fun stuff to make my background um, have some depth um, and I like to to do this at the end um, and this is playing with mesh I'm going to lock all these guys up here um, first let's make sure that this is the color you want to stick with because I noticed this nice dark gray over here which is part of this palette I kind of like that dark gray better so let's stick with that. And the reason why I wanted to do that dark gray is I'm actually going to make it be a little bit more dramatic and darker in points and toward the bottom. So I'm going to grab a color by double clicking on that same color and just dropping down. And then this is the mesh gradient. We're going to be talking a lot about it, um, but I can come in and um, all those other layers are locked put a darker point there and you can see that that kind of gives me like this gradient that like kind of reinforces this idea of that exclamation point coming from this um, area the other thing that i can do is i can drop down here and i can grab these points and i can select that darker color and make the whole thing darker i'm actually going to go quite a bit darker and see how I feel about it. I don't like it as much, but we could go just a little bit, maybe. I like that. So let's call that um, done for the moment. I am going to be teaching you um, some more tools, um, but I want to give you these things in kind of little digestible chunks. And I also want to see what you guys are doing, and then I'll go back in and post some more videos. All right, thanks.